Hello, my friends, new and seasoned. This is Kathy here at Spicy Cat Colors. Happy to see you face to face. It is my monthly. Oh, if you hear noises, I'm parked under a tree and snow is falling off. <laughs> Let me talk about that. So, okay, again, this is my monthly face to face video where I talk about what my coloring plans. Seriously, did you guys all hear that? <laughs> Okay, <laughs> maybe I should park someplace else. Let's just do this visual thing first so you can see where we're at. Um, so before I get to the coloring thing, <laughs> we just had, I don't know, we get maybe six inches of snow last night. And it's, um, temperature wise, it's like 32 degrees. So it's warm, warm. It's a warm winter day. And it was like the heavy, wet snow. So let me turn the camera. So I'm parked in the city park. And I'm under these trees. And you can see like that layer of snow that is on everything. Well, there's just enough of a breeze. And then it's wet, heavy snow that it is falling off. So it's like falling off on the street here, like waiting to see if we can get a big clump to fall off. And since I'm parked under one of the trees, <laughs> it's falling on me. And that's what you're hearing. Like, here's some of the snow that has fallen beside my vehicle. But it's beautiful. This is like perfect snowball fight weather or snowball fight snow make a snowman type of snow um there's a lot of snow right here if you can kind of see back there's the lake is all covered in snow way back there and my little gazebo i usually park by so if you hear some noises <laughs> it is the snow falling on <laughs> my van so um, hopefully if it's, if it's too bad, I'll move, but if not, it's like fun sound effects, right? Sorry. No, I can't get you set again. Anyway. So this is typically a shorter video anyway. So we will just make two. It's like the trees. I'm having that moment. It's like the tree from Harry Potter where it like grabbed the car and like the thrashing. I can't remember its name. That's what I feel like right now that I'm parked under and it's throwing the snowballs at me. Like, get the heck out of my way, lady. <laughs> anyway, how is everybody? I am okay. Life is still very stressful and chaotic. Uh, coloring wise, I have slowed down from my normal coloring pace. I haven't even filmed today's what? Today? What is today? I don't know. Like the 5th or 6th? It's Monday. It's Minivan Monday. And, um, yeah, I don't even know what day it is. We're in March now. I have not filmed my completed pages yet. I have started to pull them together. And I think I've colored, I don't know, 33, 33-35-ish pages. Which is a lot for some people. Um, and it's, it's a number. I'm fine with it. And it still averages at least a page or more a day. So I'm good with that. I just have not had as much time. Normally I would do quite a few more pages than that, like closer to 50 in a month, but it's okay. Coloring is fun and exciting. And that's why I don't give myself, um, goals as far as the number specific of pages. Other than of course, what I have set up for my, whoa, that was a big one. <laughs> For my um, 10 books to finish, which is technically five books to completely finish and five books to focus on. So I will keep doing that. I am excited for month three of my double buddy colors, meaning for group buddy colors. So thank you everyone that has been participating. Makes me so happy. I really am enjoying doing the spinner for the Disney. So I had already posted this on Instagram and I need to remember to like post it on YouTube on like my community tab, duh, or to post it as a short or something. So it's there as well. Cause I know we all, um, 
absorb, take in information from various social media. So I want to try and make sure it's out there in case people don't have a chance to watch this video. So this month, uh, last month, we so month one in January, we did the movie Brave. Last month, it was the movie Zootopia. So for March, let's see what the spinner has for us. <laughs> Ba -ba -ba -ba. Fantasia. I will admit I almost did a respin because Fantasia is not one of my favorites. But to be fair, I probably haven't watched it in over 30 years or longer, honestly. I just remember, I think as a kid, it just was like, it didn't seem like a real storyline. And it's kind of weird because I'm actually a huge music enthusiast, including classical music. And that's part of the whole thing there is how they did the music. So I think I need to watch it again. Now, I do know I have some Fantasia pages in my Disney um, Hatchet Heroes books because that's how I came up with the list is I put in all the movies that are in the books I own. So that will be fine. But it may be a movie that not everybody has a specific picture for and as always in my group buddy colors make the rules for yourself there really is not a lot of rules so if you do not have fantasia specific i would say any mickey mouse would do any mickey mouse page because mickey is like the main huge character in there or wizardry because he is um, whenever I think of Fantasia, I think of him in the like blue hat with the stars and the moon on and, you know, conducting all the chaos, but I know there's other characters in there as well. So yeah, just play with it. You can, you can do, I, but I would say a Mickey Mouse, just do Mickey Mouse. That would work. That would qualify. And then of course, if you are on social media and want to post it, use the hashtag spicy cat Disney. And I will get to see all of your beautiful pages. So very, very fun. There were a lot for Zootopia. Thank you, everyone that played along with that. So that is my Disney buddy color plan for the month. And then my group buddy color in general is um, I picked the book. This is the book. I'll show you the cover. Um, 50 Springtime Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. This is one of her older miniature books. I think she did all these seasonal ones before her re line of the characters. Anyway, it's an older one. And I am picking this specific page. Again, I will show it to you. It is um, St. Patrick's Day Irishy inspired. And I like it. So if you do not have this book, or if you have this book and you've already colored this page, please feel free to still join in. And the prompt I will say this month is um, Irish or Celtic. So anything related to that. There's um, St. Patrick's Day is in March. So that's partly why I chose this and I am an Irish girl. So, um, but anything, I know there is a lot of very fun Celtic imagery. There's a whole book of like Celtic mandalas, Celtic crosses, um, anything like that. Anything Irish related with a leprechaun or <laughs> four leaf clovers. <laughs> Usually, uh, snow falling from trees is not an Irish thing, but, um, yeah, that can be your prompt. We're just going to say the prompt is Irish slash Celtic. So if, however that works for you, please, please join in the fun. <sighs> so those are the two group buddy colors. I have, um, again, for the past several months, not been able to necessarily fully participate in everybody else's amazingly wonderful color alongs and prompts and scavenger hunts. I have been... What I've been doing, just because my coloring time has been so limited, is I'm coloring like my body colors and any page that I just feel like coloring. And at the end of the month, if I can make them fit into a scavenger hunt or um, specific color alongs, 
then I will do that. So I may not get the full list and that's okay. I think that's one of the things that, um, I guess for me, I mentioned before when people provide these prompts and these color lungs or scavenger hunts, it's just to help keep us all coloring. It's not like you have to feel like you have to check every box and you have to be a completist to participate. It's at least the other people that, seriously, you'd think someone's trying to break into my minivan. Um, it's at least from my point of view and my fellow friends who I know who do these color alongs and the prompts, it is to encourage and support each other and give people a reason to color. And it's just fun to see what they come up with. So it's not that this is a strict hard rule and you have to do it all. So that's how I'm doing it for me. I still am up in the air with life. I actually this morning had a job interview. I don't remember because again, it's been a long time since I've been able to actually even do a color in chat or this is about all I've been able to give you guys every month when it comes to chit chats. And um, I had an interview back January, January, I think. Anyway, and it was a job and I really thought the interview went well. The job definitely was something I was interested in. And unfortunately, I did not get the job. I had a very polite rejection email and the people were very kind to me and you know whether it was full of fluff or not they had said you know you were a very impressive candidate and the difficult it was a very difficult decision and we really do encourage you to keep looking at other positions within our um, organization so that was good so now this morning I have an, I just finished another job interview and same thing I thought it went very well but I just don't know I've said it before, I will continue to put myself out there and I will be knocking on the doors and if they open to let me in and invite me to stay, then it's meant to be. If I'm invited in for a quick little chat, but then it doesn't pan out, it's, I truly know just based on my life that there's a reason. I do not have to know what that reason is. But so with the job I didn't get, maybe it's because God knows there was a better one for me or he knew that there was something at that place that was not going to be right for me. It was going to cause more anxiety or issues or it was going to be something or he knows he needs me somewhere else. It's not even the job. It's that. I, my presence, my force is needed somewhere else to help his greater purpose. That's how I look at things. And people may laugh and scoff at me and think, whatever, you're delusional. It works for me. <laughs> I am not saying it works for everybody. But I believe things happen for a reason. Um, I believe if you put out good and positivity into the world, it does come back to you. And the flip side is true too. If you put out negativity, it comes back to you as well. Call it karma, call it whatever you want. Um, it's just the way I live my life. I do my best to always leave a positive impact on anyone I meet. And I have been abundantly blessed in my life. Um, and even as I go through tribulations, I still have so many blessings that I am grateful for. So I am still in a personal journey of a bit of tribulation, but I'm here. I'm getting by. And if this job does not pan out, guess what? I will just keep applying and I will find something. So yeah, really, I don't have that exciting much of anything. I am so far behind. I may just scrap. Honestly, I think I've mentioned this. I have like this haul video of product I have I did I, but now I'm behind on a book haul too I like was able to film a bunch of book hauls and get those posted but as far as supplies I have stuff I think since October and the sad thing is and I think others that make videos can relate to this it's like we don't let ourselves use what we have until we've hauled it and that's my problem is so I have these things and to be honest some things I've probably forgotten that I have and I maybe have spent money on something similar 
which is just so stupid. So I'm having this internal debate since my coloring time is so limited, which also means my filming time is even more limited. Do I just say, screw it and put all the stuff away and just start using it? Because really the world is not going to end in the in coloring if somebody doesn't get to see my haul, <laughs> if I don't get to show it to you. Um, or do I still just keep adding to the pile and have a mega massive haul? But and I, the thing I feel terrible about is I have items that were gifted to me, seriously, since like November that I have not shared. And I have personally um, reached out to the people to thank them, except for the one that I received and I have no idea who sent it to me because it didn't come with a little um, gift tag from Amazon. Um, it wasn't signed. So <laughs> that one, I, I don't know. So if you sent me something and you haven't heard from me, thank you. But I very much want to give that because I do so appreciate it. And um, I like to show those specifically on my channel. And I still have my wonderful stack of like holiday cards people had sent me I want to share. <sighs> so I don't know. <sighs> Seriously. <laughs> I swear I did not know I was in the, like, direct drop zone for snow. <laughs> it's like I'm watching. It's not like there's that much falling in front of me. But, anyway. It'll be interesting when I play this back to see if you could, <laughs> if I can hear the, the noises on the recording that I can in real life. So, anyway. Um, yeah. Sorry, I got, I'm really... Don't have anything fun and exciting to tell y'all. I have truly intended... Oh, so the thing when I do my group buddy color, uh, not the Disney one. The Disney one, if I were ever fortunate enough to be able to like film a video while I was doing one of those pages, that would be rare opportunity, but it could happen. As far as the other, like the group buddy color this month for the one from um, 50 Springtime Miniatures, uh... The first month, January, I was able to do a color and chat. And that was my original intention, was to do, like, a color and chat while I color the page. But it doesn't happen. Actually, no, January, I wasn't able to. I did a short on it. And February, it didn't happen. I didn't get my page colored till the end of the month. So that will also then be a bonus. I've decided, you know what? I'm not going to feel guilty because I'm not able to do that. Ideally, I would love to do a color and chat while I color the buddy color page every month, but I'm human and my life is stressful and tense and I'm, it may not happen. So I will definitely color my pages and post them on Instagram and that's what I can do. So someday maybe we can, but yeah, otherwise I don't. I'm not going to give any specific coloring video plans. You get what you get from me. And in addition to being so far behind on my own coloring channel, I am also that far behind on watching my friends' videos. So I just want to let all of you know that make videos and post content. I am still here and I am trying, but to be honest, I am like months behind. Like I have been watch going through some of my friends' channels and going, oh my gosh, I didn't, haven't even watched their December completed pages video yet. And I will watch it then. So if you get like a comment from a really old video, <laughs> it's just me playing catch up. And at this point, I don't know if I'll ever be caught up <laughs> because it's, it could be like a full-time job watching everybody's videos. And I love, don't ever stop making videos, my friends. Um, I just, you know, we all have lives that have ebbs and flows of busyness, and yeah, I appreciate the effort you do, but I also want to remind my fellow um, creators out here to try not to get discouraged. It's, it's hard because um, even myself, and I'm the first one to say I do YouTube as a hobby, and it's fun, and I enjoy it. And I don't get hung up on numbers of views and subscribers and all that. While I don't, you know, let myself get down about it or anything, I still look at it and it means something. But if 
you know, so, like a video I thought that might be everyone would really enjoy got hardly any views. And I'm like, oh, you're like, don't have your finger on the pulse here of what the coloring community wants, do you, Kathy? But then I'm like, you know what? I wanted to make that video and post it. And I think if it helped or, um, you know, one other person enjoyed it, then I'm happy. So it's, it's hard not to get tied up on the numbers, but I also remember others lives are as crazy and busy as mine so they may not be able to watch my videos right away either and it's okay it's all okay as long as we remember that coloring is a hobby it is to bring us joy um, those of us that use it to de-stress calm anxiety help with depression all of those things it is still that and the videos and the Instagram posts, um, the Facebook groups, all of those are extensions of it. And it would honestly, for me, be a full-time job to be able to do all of them in a timely manner. Like to do all the social medias, stay on top of all the videoing, all the watching, all the commenting. And goodness, if anybody can figure out how I could apply for that full-time job where it actually gave me like health insurance and a paycheck, heck yeah. Um, <laughs> but until then, I do the best with what I have. And I know that's what each and every one of you are doing as well. So, okay, my dear friends, I have babbled long enough for what I said was going to be a short video. And I think it's time I move my caboose out from under this tree that has kind of been giving me a little bit of a car wash because the snow is very moisture filled and wet so it's dripping dripping the dirt off I don't know but I will be in touch I appreciate each and every one of you and in case you haven't heard it recently and I know you haven't heard it from me because I haven't been able to post many videos you matter even though I may not get to tell you as often as you may need to hear it, please know you still matter and I am still thinking about you and sending you all the positiveness I could possibly send from my little heart out to yours. I'm just sending it out on the waves of the universe and praying that it lands right where you need it and that when you need to feel that, that hug, that just that warmth that you know someone's out there, I'm still sending all of that to you and even though I may not be as present as I had been in the past that part doesn't change that does not at all ever change you are valued you are beautiful you are amazing and I've been really working a lot telling myself that about me because it is much easier for me to share that with others and lift them up than to believe it about myself which is sad but I have been working on me a lot so take care my dear friends and I'll be back when I can be back but I am here so if you want to send me a message on Instagram or an email please do just also know I may not get back to you right away I do not um I'm I don't focus it's not that it's not important to me, but I really can go a day or two without checking messages. And it's just because that's what I have to do in my life right now. I'm trying not to be tied to my phone and focus on what is happening right here in front of my face right now in the world. So, okay, I'm going to let you go. I love all of you and I pray you are doing well. Bye. Hey there, my friends. If you are seeing this, that means I put it into a video and I probably snuck it in at the end because the ones that make it to the end are my true amazing seasoned friends. And I'm not going to tell you all the details right now, but I have, I know I've been kind of like cryptic and saying some stuff that's going on in my life. And I just wanted to let you guys know, I am okay. Emotionally, I am struggling. Mentally, I am struggling. <laughs> um, but I'll be okay. 
I will get through this current season of my life and I don't know yet what my future holds. Trying to get a new job, everybody knows that. Still waiting, it's a long process. But my personal life has somewhat circling around the drain, let's just say. And um, yeah, I, I still don't know where we're gonna go with that. I've had, I mean, again, I'm not gonna share the full details, but definitely some issues going on with my husband right now. And yeah, he kind of forgot he was married for the past year. So I need to figure out what I'm, what I'm gonna do with that and what I'm gonna put up with, I guess. So that's what I'm dealing with, personal stuff. But again, I am okay. I appreciate all of your prayers, all of your love and all your concern, and I will be okay. So thank you. Thank you for being there. It means a lot because there's been a lot of tears, a lot of nights, nights, days, whatever it is, where I am um, struggling and feeling alone. And then I remember I'm never alone because I have amazing people like you in my life. So again, I am okay. I will get through this. I'm not the first person to deal with this type of broken trust and um, I but I need to figure out what I'm going to do and if it's fixable and all of that I don't know yet that's why I say I'm kind of in a holding pattern I don't know what's going on yet so thank you though and please know you really matter all the kind comments the messages um, I always take them to heart and appreciate them but they've really meant so much more right now. So thank you, my friends. You are beautiful and I appreciate you. And I will keep you posted. Just to let you know, I'm okay. If I say in my video, I'm doing okay, it means I am. Okay? And now you know. I love you guys.